NVIDIA's huge yearly GTC keynote just happened, and there was a lot of talk about AI, and look at that, they filled this entire arena. This looked like a rock concert, yet it was a keynote on artificial intelligence. So why all the hype? What was announced? Well, here are some of the highlights. From now on, you will be able to talk to a building, a warehouse in particular. They also made a video game version of Planet Earth. AIs are starting to discover new drugs to defeat terrible diseases and robots are training in virtual worlds. Or you can check out and even design beautiful new products in virtual worlds and humanoid robots as well. And other kinds of super cute robots too, I'll show them to you at the end of the video. Dear fellow scholars, this is 2 Minute Papers with Dr. Károly Zsolnai Fehér. Now, first note that here we mainly talk about research papers. This is not a paper, so it is harder to find the limitations and potential issues, and some things might look a little better than they really are. Please keep that in mind for this video. So, first, they showcased gear, and then some more gear, and then, of course, even more gear. Here they showed how one can go from just one chip to building an entire data center. Okay, but what do these chips really do? Well, for instance, my favorite, they run simulations. If you look here, yes, all of these are computer simulations, many of which you can run at home and in real time. And now, with the new Blackwell chips that are two and a half to five times faster than their predecessors, according to the marketing materials, of course, you are all wise fellow scholars here, so you know to always look up the benchmarks that are tailored to your particular task. However, wherever we look, the speed up on AI-related tasks is absolutely breathtaking. Over the last 10 years, from both software and hardware improvements, we got a speed up of 10,000x. Yes, things got 10,000 times faster. In 10 years, we went from giving the computer an image of a cat and it being able to recognize that it is indeed a cat. To now, 10 years later, we can turn this problem around, which is mind-blowing. We now write the text and it does the image synthesis and video synthesis. That is so much harder. And it gets better. Today, we can perform everything to everything. Sound, 3D models, whatever you wish. And the 10,000 times speed up also means that these simulations can get even more sophisticated. So much more that an entire factory can be designed digitally and many different imagined layouts can be tested before the factory is built, increasing worker efficiency by around 50%. Okay, all this happens on paper. But does this really work in practice? Can you really know if these factories are built correctly? And the answer is yes. As it is being built, we can check it against the simulation and verify if it was really built correctly. That is absolutely incredible. So, what else can we do with all this insane computational power? Well, here's a crazy idea. How about creating a digital video game version of the whole planet? Here, AI-assisted physics simulations can now forecast storms and typhoons. But it gets better. You can immediately get not just one prediction, but you get the best case, worst case, and the most likely case at the same time, so you can prepare earlier. These are research works that will save lives, and they may already have. That is absolutely amazing. Their current version is optimized for Taiwan and will be available everywhere. But in the meantime, scientists at Google DeepMind already have a paper that can also do similar things really well, and it can even run in your pocket. Computational drug design is also getting better and better. This means that an AI would propose new kinds of medicines and do a virtual screening for them. 
and this is a really complex area which I thought would take many decades to come to fruition. But just yesterday I heard an interview from Demis Sasabis, CEO of Google DeepMind, and he said the first fully AI designed medicines might appear in the next two years. Wow! Once again, the papers saving human lives. What a time to be alive! Now we can also put robots in these warehouses, and not only that, but we can even simulate not just the warehouse, but now with workers and robots interacting in there. This is really cool because we can simulate potential problems and teach them to adapt to new situations if something unexpected happens. For instance, to find a different route. And remember, all of this is a simulation. And we talk a great deal about speedups, so today that is not even the limit of what this technology can do. It can also help visualizing and simulating huge engineering projects. And by this, I mean really huge. Now, hold on to your papers, fellow scholars, because this simulation contains the interaction between 7 million parts. Stunning work. Wow. You can also use this to dream up and design new products. And I have to stop here for a moment because this is incredible. I am a light transport researcher by trade, ray tracing, if you will, and simulating the appearance of these used to take weeks on supercomputers. Now, many of these run in real time on your own machine. And the material models here are absolutely gorgeous. And don't forget, you can mix it together with generative AI, text to image, or text to 3D models. And these can also be streamed to Apple's new shiny Vision Pro glasses. And finally, they also announced the next frontier, a model for planning the actions of humanoid and all kinds of other robots. These can be trained in the simulated video game worlds too. Or they can also learn from human demonstrations. And now, through the power of the ChatGPT-like large language models, they now also understand us when we talk to them. Come on, you guys, let's wrap up. Let's go. Five things. Where are you going? I sit right here. Don't be afraid. Come here, Green. Hurry up. And then these tiny, super cute robots suddenly appeared on the stage. And these learn to walk within a computer simulation too. Good job, little robots. So this is hardware and software working together and through the power of research papers, all of this is now possible. Loving it. Once again, this was not a research paper, but a summary of the many things that come out of AI research. This is the papers coming alive, if you will. If you're looking for inexpensive cloud GPUs for AI, Lambda now offers the best prices in the world for GPU cloud compute. No commitments or negotiation required. Just sign up and launch an instance. And hold on to your papers because with the Lambda GPU Cloud, you can now get on-demand H100 instances and they are one of the first cloud providers to offer publicly available on-demand H100 access. Did I mention they also offer persistent storage? So join researchers at organizations like Apple, MIT and Caltech in using Lambda Cloud instances, workstations or servers. Make sure to go to lambdalabs.com slash papers to sign up for one of their amazing GPU instances today.